Welcome guys to the Mythbusters series episode 17. Today we will be taking a look at some of the interesting myths that might be useful to you, and some are completely useless but fun to know. Starting with the first myth, if you drive your bike at its high speed and crash into a house, the bike will be stuck into the wall, and when you exit, you'll automatically get inside the house along with the bike. This myth seems interesting, I'm going at the highest speed as possible in the motorbike, and I'll crash into this sniper tower, well now I'm stuck in between the wall. Which is weird, if I try exiting my bike, now the bike is half inside and half outside. I don't really understand PUBG's physics. If I get on the bike, it comes inside. So yes the myth is confirmed, when you crash into a wall at high speed, you'll be teleported into the house, and also there are other ways this can happen example like this, you can almost get through the wall by doing this. But it won't work all the time. Moving on to the next myth, a level 2 backpack in TDM has more space than a level 3 backpack. Alright so now I'm in TDM, and if we check the backpack, it has 600 capacity. Which is very suspicious, because it looks like a level 2 backpack. And now in the training ground, if I check the level 2 backpack capacity it's only 350, even if I equip a level 3 backpack it only reaches 400 capacity. Of course using a vest will increase the bag capacity, but it only increases by 50 capacity, so in total, I can only get 450 capacity from a level 3 bag, whereas in TDM a level 2 bag can provide 600 capacity, which is weird, but TDM works in a different way. So the myth is confirmed. Moving on to the next myth, you can spot players underwater with HDR graphics, try it in Water City, 100% transparent water. So now in the Water City, this player is going to jump into the water, and you can't really see where this player is swimming. Now I will switch my graphics settings to HDR, this is cool, I can clearly see this player swimming underwater. As well as the entire water is transparent. But can we really spot players in other places? Well yes but actually no. Here is a side by side comparison, and in HDR graphics you can see the player's body under the water, but it's not as clear as in Water City. And the further the enemy is the harder is it for you to spot them. So the myth is confirmed, you can spot enemies underwater, by switching to HDR graphics. If your device doesn't support HDR, this is another advantage for high-end devices, and it doesn't work in HD graphics nor balanced, it only works in HDR which I think will be fixed by PUBG hopefully in a year or two. Moving on to the next myth, water will provide 50% protection, so if you shoot someone underwater it only does half damage. So previously if someone is in water, they won't get hit by any bullets as the water will shield them. But now in recent updates somehow you can spot enemies with HDR graphics, and also now you can hit them while they are underwater, and it actually does some damage, but we don't know exactly how much. So I ran some tests, and it looks like the water will give around 50% protection from the bullets, so the myth is confirmed. If you hit someone who's inside water it only deals half the damage as the water will slow down your bullets. So you'll need to shoot twice as much as you would normally to eliminate them. Moving on to the next myth, emergency pickup will mostly spawn outside the circle, well this myth kind of feels true for me, but I did some tests, I tried to find emergency pickup inside the circle for 2 hours in 5 different matches. And I couldn't find one. But as soon as I started searching outside the circle I immediately found one. So this myth is confirmed in my opinion. But even if we look at the PUBG Mobile's official video of introducing emergency pickup, they were using it, mostly when they were outside the zone. And emergency pickup's main purpose is to help you get to the safe zone. So you'll most likely find it outside the circle. And I could never find this emergency pickup while I was inside the circle not even once. However, if you did find any emergency pickup kit while you are inside the circle, let me know in the comments. Now to the next myth. You can use the emergency pickup on top of the house or on the terrace. If you guys don't know that the emergency pickup cannot be used inside a house since it needs to send a balloon up in the sky. But can it work on a squad house balcony? Well, let's see, it does activate, so you can use it from the balcony, as long as there is enough space. Plus you can also activate it from the roof of the building, so the myth is confirmed. Moving on to the next myth, in core circle mode, there is a second blue zone outside of the first blue zone. Alright so right now I'm next to the blue zone, which you can see on the map. And if we go out of the zone far enough we should be able to find a second blue zone. And yes there is a blue zone inside of a blue zone. So the myth is confirmed, and this second blue zone does really high damage. Now to the next myth, 
M416's damage is reduced after the new update. Okay so this is what everyone comments when a new update comes, everyone thinks M416's damage is lower, or something happened to M4. But let's see, if anything happened to M4, we'll be comparing next to Scar L, because Scar L and M4 got the same damage. First, I'll shoot an enemy with Scar L, and now with M416, now when I check my detailed stats, I can see that both Scar L and M416 did the same amount of damage which is 41. So the myth is busted, M4 damage remains the same. Moving on to the next myth, AKM XT's recoil remains the same as normal AKM, XT doesn't change recoil. And another myth related to XT, in the new update XT weapons have faster reloading speed than normal weapons. Alright first let's check the normal AKM's recoil, and now let's upgrade that AKM to XT. And test its recoil. Now comparing normal AKM next to AKM XT, and it's very obvious that AKM XT's recoil is slightly lower than the normal one. So the myth is busted XT weapons do reduce recoil as they claim. And now let's test out the reloading speeds, here is a side by side comparison of AKM versus AKM XT, and when we reload, it looks like they both have the same speed. So another myth is also busted, AKM XT do not reload faster. Now to the last myth, a 1 HP player will die with a stun grenade when the stun grenade hits him, I mean we all know that stun grenades do not do any damage when it explodes other than blinding you. Now I'm gonna hit this player with the stun grenade to see if it does any damage, well it looks like there is no damage. So the myth is busted, 1 HP players don't die when you hit them with stun grenades, maybe in other games they would. Anyway that's all I got for this video, I hope you learned something new, if you did hit the like button and subscribe for more upcoming videos like this, I'll see you guys in the next one.